safe spaces, trigger warning. I know there's a lot of talk right now about border security, so let me repeat. Today, illegal crossings are near their lowest level in decades. And if passed, the Senate bill, as currently written and is hidden in the floor, would put in place the toughest border enforcement plan that America has ever seen. And every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. America proudly welcomes millions of lawful immigrants who enrich our society and contribute to our nation. But all Americans are hurt by uncontrolled illegal migration. The system's still broken. And to truly deal with this issue, Congress needs to act. Well, look, I voted uh, uh, numerous times when I was a senator to spend money to build a, uh, a barrier to try to prevent um, illegal immigrants from coming in. Um, and I do think you have to control your borders. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards. My administration has presented Congress with a detailed proposal to secure the border and stop the criminal gangs, drug smugglers, and human traffickers. It's a tremendous problem. Our proposal was developed by law enforcement professionals and border agents at the Department of Homeland Security. These are the resources they have requested to properly perform their mission and keep America safe. In fact, safer than ever before. First of all, if passed, this bill would be the biggest commitment to border security in our nation's history. It would put another $6.5 billion on top of what we're already spending towards stronger, smarter security along our borders. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. It's fair for middle class families by making sure that those who are brought into the system pay their fair share in taxes and for services. And it's fair for those who try to immigrate legally by stopping those who try to skip the line. It's the right thing to do. This is a humanitarian crisis, a crisis of the heart and a crisis of the soul. 